Hello students and friends. Welcome back to my session on Arduino in 21 days. We are on day 8. Today we will see about using ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance with the help of the LCD module. As usual, this is the nano board. This is the LCD display, two line density display that we will be using it. And uh, ITC module will be using. Then uh, use I am not using the button buttons will be there in the program actually okay in the setup but I am not using it actually uh, this is there in this uh, uh, diagram but uh, you can ignore this also you can delete or ignore this don't delete it ignore because maybe tomorrow uh, I will integrate this and previous two days session we can uh, we, we did uh, with the uh, how to find the analog value and uh, using the push buttons all put together I'll tell you uh, I'll combine all the three days program as the fourth one tomorrow maybe for that for the tomorrow's uh, session these things I require so that is why I I kept it as such so here in this particular program today's problem we'll be using this uh, ultrasonic sensor this ultrasonic sensor has four pins actually the first pin is vcc connect this vcc to 5 volt then trigger trigger in our program i am assigning a1 in arduino board for the trigger pin the echo pin i am connecting echo pin with a2 in arduino then the fourth pin is the ground connect that to 0 volt that's all that's all so this is the program let me copy everything this is the old one I am deleting this I am copying this then this is also old one mm, this is the program uh, sorry this is the connection let me copy this now we will see this one will see this diagram with this program okay now these uh, header files are required for running the LCD display and other things then you see this these three lines are very important as far as this particular program is concerned we are on day 8 so trigger is assigned with a1 in the Arduino okay so in the Arduino where is the a1 pin here is a1 pin analog 1 pin number 21 a1 is analog pin then a2 is here pin number 20 pin number 20 is a1 pin number 21 is a2 okay so these two pins we are using okay a1 and a2 so then here i think first time we are using uh, uh, variables like a float uh, floating variables actually float variables uh, you know very well that the difference between an uh, integer and float integer is a whole number 1 0 1 2 3 4 6 4 5 6 are all integers float means a 1.1 1.2 something like that okay so we need to calculate here we'll be measuring the distance okay uh, program uses as with sensor to to measure distance right for the so the distance ultra in ultrasonic sensor the actually ultrasonic sensor it uh, uh, senses the velocity so velocity unit is meter per second so meter is distance and the second is a time so these two variables but we I we need so these lines are not required that is why I put the comment here and I, I, I brought this under comment if you want you can delete it otherwise leave it as such similarly you can delete this or you can leave it as such you can delete the entire uh, this line okay I, I put this under comment if you want you can delete or leave it as such no problem okay now 
so this is the, the uh, under the loop under the setup block initialize the lcd then assign the pins uh, for the trigger and echo so trigger one is assigned with output the pin mode is assigned with the input so in the echo it sends the echo signal the wave it sends then after hitting uh, that wave signal after hitting the obstruction it will be returned back okay that will be captured on the trigger so that is the logic okay so uh, i think it it, it uh, works on a simple mathematics only so up to this sorry it, you see um, sorry trigger is output you know it trigger sends the signal um, the echo receives the signal so digital write send the signal then after a delay of 2 microseconds again it sends first it is 0 after 2 microseconds it triggers it high then a yeah, delay of 10 microseconds then it is become low so what is the delay actual delay here 10 the wave is sent for 10 seconds after that 10 microseconds after that the wave is stopped the sound is stopped for 2 microseconds after 2 microseconds it calculates uh, the the it reads the signal here with a delay of 2 microseconds the this is the formula this is very important formula i don't know much about this one but uh, i could understand from this particular equation that the velocity of uh, sound the velocity of sound is 340 meter per second so this is the 340 uh, it, uh, it the wave is uh, uh, going and returning back for that i think uh, th this uh, uh, that means it, it, it the distance uh, it doubled actually so it should be divided by 2 then this four digits you know the meter into centimeter because here in the output i am uh, representing the value of a uh, distance in terms of centimeter not as meter uh, because this is 340 meters so conversion meter to centimeter they are using uh, 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 this uh, uh, 10,000 maybe okay so this is the thing okay if you are able to understand understand we can i am also having a bit knowledge about uh, these calculations but this value alone is very important the velocity of sound is 340 meter per second okay google it get it so that this uses that particular value that's it then we are displaying that one in the uh, 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 in the lcd so this is the commands for command for this uh, this one so for every uh, uh, this will be displayed for one second after that the calculation is made afresh again after one second then a new will be new value will be printed here new value will be printed here that is the logic okay so if you increase the delay the refresh rate will be slow if you if you put instead of thousand if you put 100 millisecond every 0.1 second the calculation will be carried out it is refreshed that is the idea now we go to the this is the program okay so it is copied in the word file okay so you can just copy this one yeah this is also missing right to measure distance you can copy this entire program then you can paste it in the compiler and you can run it okay you can verify it at least if you if you are not having arduino board you can just verify if you have board up you can upload and you can see so these are the connections okay so this this uh, ultrasonic sensor has four pins first pin vcc you see this is connected to 5 volt the last pin connected to ground the second pin connected to a1 then this third pin connected to a2 of course a0 actually i 
insert uh, I used a0 here for this uh, variable register with that only I handled yesterday's class let it be as such because tomorrow we need this one okay now we'll see it in action this you can ignore for time being now for abstraction I'm just sitting here this is my laptop these are the setup okay this I use it as abstraction okay now I use the abstraction now I kept it here I this see the distance now you see the value the value is 4.5 centimeter or so I'm just uh, uh, giving I am uh, just moving outward so you see value is increasing 8 still moving farther and farther so 10 centimeters again I am moving closer so value 6 now so decreased so depending upon the gap between the sensor So the gap between this, sen this sensor and this abstraction is calculated in the program and it will be displayed in the display. That's it. Okay. So that is what is shown here. okay so that is the thing so you, you, you this program is there in the in this PDF file you will get it okay so it is available as a link under the description mm, so try to you copy it and I see the text so it will be quite uh, understandable yeah, over and above my session I, these things will be readily available in the net you can download it from the net uh, and you can run it also I think uh, here uh, without uh, much uh, straining I, strain, I, I took a lot of uh, effort in uh, compiling collecting all the information from the internet only so I put it here uh, so that uh, you can easily just uh, copy it you can paste it you can run it without any trouble definitely it will run uh, again I repeat sometimes it if it is not uh, if it while verifying now I am pressing you see compiling sketch compiling now uh, data uh, done compiling okay so if the libraries are not installed uh, it may give some error the time again as I said earlier include library search for uh, in the net uh, you type uh, libraries for even here itself you can type for under the manage library you will get a dialog box under the search uh, library for our uh, uh, ultrasonic sensor if you type you will get uh, the libraries automatically the only thing is uh, you should have a data connection in your laptop okay so uh, that's it for today so if uh, i hope uh, uh, you, you can uh, you, you understood about uh, use of ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance uh, with the help of the lcd module if you like my uh, videos so you, you you please subscribe my channel and uh, inform this to your friends and uh, st other students so then they will also benefit out of my sessions okay thank you so much